But you've overcome a real problem with reading. I don't know if you were diagnosed with dyslexia. But I, I was, it, when I was six, um, they found that I couldn't read at all. And so I was diagnosed with uh, dyslexia at about six and a half or something like that. But you don't get statemented when you're, when you're six. They kind of wait. Mm. So um, it was one of the, it was, I'd asked for an agent when I was three and my mum had mm -hmm. said, no, absolutely not. And finally she said, okay, if you work with me every single day through the summer holidays, you come to me with a book work in your hand. Work on your reading. Yeah, yeah, and a smile in your face. Um, then at the end of it, I'll get you an agent. And from then on, it was as long as I kept my grades up, then I was allowed to work during the summer holidays, so the acting was, was like my carrot to do well That's at school. So by the time I was 11, I had a lot of help from my parents, some really amazing teachers and mm. some great tutors as well, and I'd pretty much overcome it. So it's not a problem now at all. And is acting... Why is it important to you to I mean, research and read the know this character? I mean, the character is the but do you, do you really need to get inside her? Is that? Is it? I just enjoy it. I think I think that people do it in many different ways. You know, I just think it, it was based on such a wonderful biography by Amanda Foreman. It's such a beautifully written book that it's sort of you know, it's wonderful to be able to have that much background knowledge to be able to kind of pick parts of her actual life out and go, okay, well that's really helpful, and we can use this and use that. You know, I, I find I find that really helpful.